Yo, 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 what is happening, gentlemen? We're currently on the way to Inverloch, literally like 10 minutes out. As you can see, still dressed like autistic Indiana Jones because we're going back looking for the treasure. Now, for those who don't know, this is my second attempt trying to find this treasure, and it's from a guy named Martin Wilberg. And he stole about $20 million worth of sovereigns from a ship back in like the 1930s. He took them from the ship, threw them over the docks into a place called Anderson's Inlet, and then he ended up getting them for himself. When he got arrested a few years after stealing the treasure, he hid them somewhere in Inverloch and left this clue. Follow the exposed rocks from Eagle's Nest back toward Inverloch at low tide to the cave's beach. So uh, yeah, that's what we're looking for. If you're wondering why my pants are wet, I, uh, I may have spilled a drink on myself before. I'm actually like really tired. You know those days where you're just like literally sapped and drained of all energy in existence? That's how I'm feeling today. 20 million in gold, we're gonna find it. I'll spare you a bit. Really? Yeah. <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm Max, by the way. See you later. Nice to meet you. Have a good one. What a G. All right, is this your Macachino? Let's put this in. All right. Another god tier petrol station. I actually really enjoyed like the old feel of the petrols. Did you fuck with it? Like, look at the outside of it, dude. It's literally just brick and that's, signs. That's signs been dude, outside that's for like, years. yeah, that's like ancient. She's pretty hot. She's probably like 80 now, but like, we'll give it a seven because I gave the Ararat one an eight, but that was like god tier. I think we give this one a seven. <laughs> He ups the points as well. Like if the motherfuckers around here are cool, that kind of bumps it as well. Cause it's like, all right, I don't want the town to be full of like cuck nerds who are just absolute ups. You know what I mean? If we get a honk, it goes up. If we get a honk, it goes up. Staying at seven, gentlemen. Let's head towards Inverlock, boys. I'm paranoid of all the people I meet. Why are they talking to me? And why can't anyone see? I just wanna live. We are back in Inverloch. As you can see, the delightful town center is right ahead of us, and I'm not gonna lie. After last week, when I was driving home, I did not think that we would return. But apparently, we're uh, we're gonna have to, gentlemen, because we're finding this fucking treasure. I went this morning, and we actually tried to get back in the cave. Uh, this is a quick clip of how that worked out. Ah. Yeah, yeah, of course. I've got a survival suit on. Oh wow, that really knocked out the old footing, eh? Yeah, yeah, it's starting to get a bit restless, aren't you, you fucking cunt? So yeah, now we've dried off and we've returned back and we're gonna find a tree so I can practice my cave diving. So as I said, did a bit of research on the cave. Apparently, I'm gonna have to like strap myself up with ropes as you saw in that video. And uh, yeah, somehow lower myself down into the cave and uh, find this treasure. I still feel like we gotta get a bit more information, get to know the town a bit better. I gotta sniff some floors, sniff some chairs and we're headed to the Inverloch Fishing and Outdoor Store, gentlemen. If anybody can tell us a thing or two about finding some treasure or how to run, you know, the great outdoors and shit, it's probably gonna be the dude who owns this. I love like these rural coastal towns. You know why? It's like whenever you walk, it feels like the air is just like fresher and it has like that, you know, like that salty sea air smell. It just smells like the salty sea air. It's refreshing as fuck, dude. What kind of car is it? Is that a Ray White car? Honk, honk, honk. Never mind, don't honk. Low tide, 616 p.m. That's when we gotta be there. It is currently 347, so we got a bit of time. Let's get some, uh, let's get some info. He was literally looking at me like I was just holding like a corpse, like, hey, what's up guys? We've literally been out looking for a tree for like the past 15 minutes. What about those ones over there? Yes or no? Oh, that one over there. Look, 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 right there. You see that one right, yeah, right there. All right, we'll go for that one. That is a good looking tree. I was looking for a tree. A tree? Yeah, so I can suspend myself with a rope and just hang. Wait, that sounded so weird because we're going cave diving for treasure. So do you want us to help you? No, no, I was just trying to impress you guys, really. <laughs> if you go around telling someone that you're going to hang yourself, please just you have to mandatorily report that. No, no, I promise you I'm mentally sane, kind of. <laughs> We're gonna submit it to the ABC. Don't expect being bad. Yeah. They never respond to my emails anyway. The land of Inverloch is the land of straight up legends, bro. Everybody is so nice. Thank you. They're cave diving exercises. Hey, sir, do you reckon you could help out? We're going cave diving? He's suspending me in the air because we're looking for buried treasure. Your weight on that might break the limb. <laughs> of the tree? Yeah. Oh, that's right, I'm wearing a helmet. <laughs> I feel like we've been bouncing around here so much, we need to find a place to eat. I think there's a Woolies around here. Oh, there was a Woolies 
Yeah. Was that not? Take it on, ma'am. Sorry, I was looking for a Woolies. That's about the only um, supermarket here. Is that a Food Works? Yep. Is Food Works alright? Yeah. Yeah, that should work. It's like Woolies, but like the Wish version. Oh, it's like the Wish version of IGA. Yeah, it's like, it's like Timu IGA Food Works. Now we're shitting on it, but it's, it's all we got right now. It's kind of like, you know, if you're trapped in a survival bunker and all you've got is like canned pineapples, you just kind of got to eat the canned pineapples. Ooh, two for $7. I take back exactly what I said. What if we bought like a pan and cooked barbecue beans? That's saving money, bro. But then we'd have to buy the pan. We start a fire on the beach. You want to come hang out on the beach with us? Maybe get a no, campfire? I've got a birthday dinner tonight. Oh, really? If, if you like, if you want to get some of the double I'll just get your phone number and then yeah. I'll just I'll get your number uh, and then yeah, yeah. yeah sick I'll yeah what's your number <laughs> <laughs> what? what's so funny dude this guy's laughing yeah let's put your number triple seven go for it man yeah five nine five nine we gotta do the call test that. though let me I'm do the call we're uh, talking to people in the aisles the half the time been so it's not a real number I <laughs> <laughs> no triple seven oh me the first time I've been scammed in the past though so I won't hurt my feelings it's no no of course so not well we're not asking you for anything aside from your contact details no, no, and you know yeah, you potential friendship lot, you can do a lot with the phone number these days uh, you know one of the dudes in my community signed me up for like a lot of inappropriate websites yeah I'll guys who watch my stuff like to make fun of me a lot I, I literally get cyber bullied and then just continuously go back it's like a kink no it's not but <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry for being so weird. Well, he thinks we're the weirdest people ever. <laughs> and then after dinner, then we'll look for the treasure. It's 6 p.m. We're having like a, a, a nonna dinner, like a grandmother dinner. Nonna's grandmother in Italian. Oh, no way, they sell thongs here? That makes complete sense, Asher. Sorry, we ran into you again. <laughs> no, no, I swear to God, we're not. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, come on, that's kind of steep, dude. Hey, you got 35 bucks on you? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Never hurts to ask. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, spring from baking can, ten ninety nine, and then we'll cook the beans in there. That's smart, yeah? yeah? Oh, God. All we need is matches, and we're sad. Yeah, they probably have matches here. Yeah. Do you by any chance have any matches? Aisle two or three. No worries. Can't we just get like an individual pack? Oh, well, we'll save some for the road, you know? If I ever need to burn down a house, at least I've got some matches signed up. I actually totally forgot I was wearing a helmet through that whole thing. <laughs> As if I'm still wearing a fucking helmet. All right, gentlemen, let's head over to Eagle's Nest and uh, cook dinner, fellas. Neither of us have eaten literally all day. Here's what we're gonna do. We've got some matches, we've got some beans, we're gonna get some sticks, and we're gonna make a campfire, gentlemen. I don't think I've ever made a campfire in my life, but you know, may as well pop my campfire cherry, you know? Let's get some sticks. I legit learned this in year six VCAL. Shout out to my teacher, Miss Cavar. Uh, you just need like a bit of this shit as well. You put this on top of the fire, and it like starts it. So we get a bit of campfire. <laughs> What, dude? Put it in your pocket. How else are we meant to transport it? We need like a minecart with chess. You know that? In Minecraft, how they transport all the shit. Nope. You never played Minecraft? Nope. Dude, where was your childhood? What did you do all day? Just eat rocks. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I used to eat bugs. I was like the eating bugs kid. No, way. no I'm kidding. <laughs> I wasn't. <laughs> I did try glue once or twice, though. Because one of like the characters I liked in a, in a book used to eat glue. Oh, glue tasted nice. Glue was sick. I'm getting a lot of deja vu from walking down here, true. Oh, it seems like just yesterday we were walking down here trying to find the treasure for the first time. It was like amateur hour. We were losing our treasure hunting virginity. Now I'm like the Angela White of treasure hunting, bro. I've been through it that many times. Like, I've basically got a cabin between my legs. Oh, it's low tide. And we can make our way around. And we can get to the cave. And we can find the treasure. I can buy the UFC. I can cut Bilal Muhammad from the roster. And everything will be okay. And my, my life will be a success. <laughs> The oh yeah, true. That's our food. <laughs> yeah, you can come through. Yeah, paper. Paper. Oh, fuck. Sticks. Yeah, paper. Get some dry leaves. Where's the dry leaves? Okay. Oh, there we go. Oh. Yeah, so he's gonna light this. Oh, wow, that's gonna go big. I'm actually pretty nervous, I'm not gonna lie. We're walking through a beach, it's very dark, but guess what? That is when us treasure hunters thrive. We've put in the work, we've put in the hours, we didn't need any food, we're actually pretty famished because we couldn't figure out how to start a fucking fire. But outside of that, we're ready to roll, gentlemen. We're making our way round, look at that! Oh my God, the peak has finally revealed itself. And we can now make our way round over the rocks, just like the scripture said. Start at Eagle's Nest, make your way around to the caves of low tide, and you will find the treasure. 
Oh fuck, I stepped in a rock pool. Ew. It's dark. Very dark. Oh my fucking god, why are there so many rock pools here? Yeah, watch your step. Yeah, yeah let's just watch our steps. Making it through. Oh my god, as I say that. Why well, is this exactly how I expected a treasure hunt to go? Oh, rock pools. What am I, just a rock pool magnet? Oh! Is that it? <laughs> I think that's it. That's not it. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. I'm, I feel like we're in Scooby Doo, bro. Like, fuck. you're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah. You're right. We've made our way through all that beach. As you can see, I don't know if you can see, it's very fucking dark out here. We're edging the mouth of the cave, it's just right up there. And goddamn, is it intimidating. We're just walking through the beach. You can hear the waves rumbling. It is dead silent out here. And we're trying to find buried treasure. That's what separates us from the rest of the treasure hunters. We got cojones. We got coconuts hanging from our scrotums. They got nothing. Zip. Nada. All right, you know what we'll do? We'll do like rapid fire questions to keep us occupied. Favorite sitcom? Victorious. That's a go t shirt. I was an iCarly man. Oh, really? Were you victorious or iCarly? Victorious. Really? No, I was an I iCarly man through or through. I used to absolutely have the biggest crush on Sam. I don't know why. It might have been because of her blonde hair, but I just found her hot as fuck. Where's the cave? There. Where? Cave. I don't know. Uh, oh, it's there! Huh. Or is it there? No, it's not there. That's trees. How the fuck is this not a cave? That's not a cave. Where's the fucking cave? <laughs> Martin Wilberg! I was going for one of those dramatic like screams when someone just got absolutely. You're kidding. There's no entrance to the cave! There's no way this expedition was for nothing. <laughs> There's no way we did all this for nothing. Oh wait, I think it's there. <laughs> oh, it's a pelican. How the fuck are we meant to get in there? It's not. It is. Okay. I don't know. How the fuck are we meant to cross in? So we ran into a bit of a problem, as per usual. There was a giant windstorm in Australia, like the night before, and apparently that makes like the tides mess up a lot. So we were here, the caves were here, and in between us, for some reason, was like this giant, insanely strong tidal wave of water, and uh, we had to get through it. Uh, what's your phone, dude? Did you drop your phone? Yeah. I just gotta see what's in there. What's the water? Oh, shit. Can you chuck with a shovel? Oh my god. Fuck. That's it. it doesn't touch the bottom. Oh my god, that doesn't even touch the bottom. Where are my valuables? What? All the mics. I'm not leaving without this treasure, man. Oh fuck. Oh my god, it's so deep. I can't even feel it. Oh my god. Alright. Alright, we're on a rock. We're on a rock. Oh. So deep, I'm gonna fucking. Fuck, I can just feel myself getting washed. A bunch of shit went in my phone. Fuck! Fuck! Fuck all that bitch, fuck shit, cut, fuck shit, cut, fuck shit. My life's not worth you, stupid fucking treasure. I can come back tomorrow. Stupid fucking. I'll see you guys next week. And if he gets you going, don't it? You already know I'm rolling motor going through the competition without no opponent. The phone, they say they comatose on me, don't I know it? I ain't pulling drawing, I'm just waiting on that Kodak Woo! moment, cause I know it's coming for me.